Business Insider just wrote uh, an article here that breaks a record for the most out-of-touch article in human history. According to one estimate, wealthy couples in New York City need $190 million to keep their heads above water. Not sure you quite get what keeping your head above water means. I'm not sure you get it. About 5% of Americans are millionaires. Most of them, about 95%, have between 1 million and 5 million. And many think that's just not enough. The happiness number for a hypothetical, wealthy, non-working couple <laughs> uh, in their 40s with two teenage kids in an expensive private school in New York City. They live in a Parkside Fifth Avenue apartment, buy art, take private jets, donate to charity, and have a household staff, a chef, a driver, and a housekeeper, plus two vacation homes. They're also setting aside $25 million for each child to inherit. This is what they view as keeping their heads above water. $18 million apartment on 5th Avenue facing Central Park. $2 million for furniture and decor. $1.7 million a child for a no-expense-spared educational strategy, which includes private school and tutors, music lessons, sports, trips abroad, and four-year Ivy League tuition. Art, $20 million to $100 million a piece in a seven- or eight-piece collection, or about $1 million annually. Is this a fucking parody article? Oh! 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 For fuck's sake, they said $20 million to $100 million in art. Here's an idea. Get some art from fucking Amazon for $19.99. But please, you can't. Who can live without $20 million to $100 million art? Mm. Oh, yes, very good. $20 million to $100 million worth of art. I'm barely keeping my head above water here, Thurston. Oh, uh, yes, oh, uh, yes, I've had to cut back on my art budget to 93 million. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, it smells so good. Uh. They say, quote, billionaires view 100 million as the starting point for real money. They call it a hundy. Like, oh, they made it. They have a hundy. I think I just became a Marxist after reading this article. <laughs> I think I just went full communist after reading this article. Holy fuck. <laughs> Please, look at this pauper over here. Would you like to be one of our peasants? Would you like to sweep my floor or something? <laughs> he doesn't even have a hundy. <laughs> he doesn't even have a hundy. <laughs> when you hit a certain amount of wealth, there is something that's inherently corrupting about that to the broader system. At a certain point, you have enough wealth to buy the politicians and basically own the government. We live in a country where half, half the people make $30,000 a year or less. Tens of millions of people without health care. We have an infrastructure that gets a grade of D+. You're only serious if you have a hundred. Me, I took this. Me. You know, I, Ted Cruz, like to start every day on my knees. Preferably sucking a hairy Russian man off. What? I wasn't supposed to say that. And the IRS! <laughs> me, I'm Ted Cruz, me.